morning. Saturday morning. Saturday. Woo, we're not on the lawn. Always at the horn for my wife in the morning. You ever get the feeling that you have sometimes a, a lack of confidence? Get that? Ooh. Wow, that was freaky. Sorry about that. Hold on. Technical difficulties. We're going through a fucking wormhole here. Wow. How about this? <laughs> Something happened to the camera there. Sorry about that. Yeah, do you ever have a problem like or, or uh, thoughts of not having confidence? I get hit with that every once in a while. You know, I get asked questions about the things that I know how to do uh, electrical wise. Uh, you know, and I and I and I waffle, and sometimes I don't have the confidence to give the right answer. Like uh, I don't know if that's something you guys go through, or I don't know. It's it's really weird, and then. After the situation is over and things get hashed out and everything, I mean, I, I think clearer and everything that, the, the message that I wanted to get across or the reason why I was doing something becomes clearer and it kind of gets fixed in my head that I was on the right lines, but it just didn't seem to come out right or, you know what I mean? Like I just, weird, yesterday I ran into an issue there and fellow asked me for a wire size to go out to his barn, a little baby barn that he built. And uh, anyway, the whole situation got fixed. It wasn't, nothing catastrophic happened or anything, but it just felt kind of weird. Of course, this is house stuff too. I'm, I'm a marine guy, so if I don't work on houses really. There's no excuse. I mean, I do take all the training and everything, but I just don't have the confidence in that area, you know? Like, it's such a simple thing, it just kind of blindsided me. I just, I was trying to future proof him a little bit by going up a wire size or two because he was going over 100 feet. I didn't want the line drop to be so bad down there. If you turn the light bulb on, he'd break a freaking blow the breaker in the house, you know. But I just know that people put in sheds or burns or whatever, and uh. How callous of me. Stand well this morning with Boswell's mild English. Which is a tad a tad dry, but it smokes very well this way. It's sort of along the kin line of uh, bear blend, but not as, uh, not as tangy. So we're going to hold on to that with the camera hand. And we're going to take a slurp of coffee here. Which is dark roast. And today we have regular milk. Yeah, regular milk. Yeah. No, so I just know that people put sheds and barns and little garages on their property and stuff and they said yeah I just just want to put an extension cord out there so I can you know I'll run a light and a plug or something and that's what he wants to do but I know I know he's gonna be down there with a friggin hair dryer and the lights going and a ghetto blaster on and you know what I mean like and it's only plugged into the house 
you only have 15 amps. Like you just don't have you don't have the juice to keep that stuff up. And I thought I'd go with a wire charger too higher, give them a couple of junction boxes, and then try to make a better connection at the house somehow. At least you'd have more of a solid line, but panels on the opposite side of the house, so you can't can't get to the panel from the basement anywhere. This house is probably finished in the basement too, which is another problem. So and he's not going down to the regulated depth in the ground and doing all the stuff he's supposed to. He's going against code basically to do what he wants. And uh, I was kind of a little bit leery about that because I mean, you'd be walking through the backyard with a shovel and trip and fall and cut the wire in the ground. So there's a lot of issues there that, uh, anyway, it was resolved, but it just kind of gave me that uneasy feeling, kind of, you know. Not that I was going to be nailed for anything or I was going to get in trouble, but I just don't like seeing things getting done that way if possible. At least I could have put in a, a robust wire and not have to worry about mechanical stuff, but that's a bit defensive. You didn't want to go with that route, so. Anyway, I just kind of curious if, uh, You guys had that feeling sometimes of being not confident in in your in your daily stuff, you know, and you get blindsided by things, and and it really sets you on your heels, you know, because you're you're supposed to be the guy, you're supposed to be the man that does all this stuff. And anyway, never ever brought him down on the boat. <laughs> You guys have a really great day. I'm up on the highway now. There we go. Turn the lights on. Saturday morning, out to work. Take care, gang, and uh, talking again soon.